All right, here with Minnesota State softball coach Lori Meyer. New season is upon us. Um, this weekend down at the UAM A State Classic should be a good competition. But this year, kind of sense a different kind of theme. We were just talking about it. But um, from last year, uh, younger team, still a young team this year, but a lot more experience coming back. Uh, you said top hitters, top pitchers. So yeah, you know, if you look where we were a year ago, we really only had two to three players that had a significant amount of Division two playing time or Division two at bats and. And one pitcher was significant innings, and that was Coley Reese. You look at us now this year, you know, we basically can return a, our, return a starter in, in every position. And we return our top six hitters, you know, so that's a positive. We return you know, our, our top base stealers, you know, we were able to steal 161 bases a year ago. And we, re, we re, return our top um, pitchers. And, you know, those two kids were able to combine and get 38 wins. So we, when you really do look at that, you know, it, it really is a, a difference this year. Um, just talk about uh, a little more into the players you got coming back. Tatum Klein broke the single season record. Now on uh, top of the career list for uh, stolen bases as well. It's not just her stealing the bases, though. I got Bransky, Meidel, Fell. Mm -hmm. Uh, very fast team. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yes, we really do have a lot of team speed, and, and that will play into our offensive game. You know, it's going to kind of be a goal for us to create, get on base, create havoc on the base, and be able to push, you know, the defense, you know, be able to take that extra base. That's just part of our offensive philosophy from from that. And, you know, and, and Tate, you know Tatum will be the table setter. You know, we'll, we'll run her in that one spot, just like last year. And so that would be good for her. Um, a little change you'll see with Tatum, you know, and it's coming into first base. Yep. You, know, you know, so... You know, her freshman year she was at first base, then she's been in the outfield for two years. Now her senior year coming back in first base because I just think that really solidifies our, our defense. And then, and then you go you know, around the defense and you got Ashley Thell returning at, at second base. You got Dana Mulgren returning at shortstop, and you got Sam Beeman returning at, at third base. So that that infield really does work very well together. You know, from that, and then get Jess Meidel, you know, anchoring out there in, in the center field. Not only that, with that, but then you know we got those six top returning bats, mm -hmm. you know, again, with, with Tatum, Klein with Bransky, and with Meidel, and with Mulgren, and with Thal and Sam Beeman. So, again, a lot of our offense re returns. But, again, y y y you know, week four and a half weeks of practice, now we're just ready to go play somebody else. Yep. Y you know, we haven't played anybody yet. So, you know, how good are we? That remains to be the question mark. That's why you go and, and do these preseason tournaments like that. And that's why we have to go south and get out on the dirt. You know, tomorrow will be our first day out, out on dirt. You know, where the GAC teams that we're going to face this weekend, they all opened up last weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, so they're, those teams are going to be coming in with, you know, more bats than what we do. But yet we're going to be coming in with that excitement from opening opening weekend. And I still think, you know, that, that that's a big intrinsic mot motivator and there's still that excitement of opening weekend i mean you played yourself you know how that is mm -hmm, absolutely uh and moving to the pitching circle um i think we knew we knew pretty well what we we're going to get from uh, coley reese last year and she did exactly what we thought but probably even more yeah. uh broke the single season yeah. strikeout record of 297 but i think uh surprise our freshman last year libby bemis who's a sophomore this year uh, really played very well for a freshman, I think. Yeah, she really did. You, you know, if you go back, she started out really. Uh, yep. uh, had a hard start. Uh, got roughed up in Arkansas. Uh, got roughed up a little bit in the St. Cloud Dome, but really came back and worked hard in, in those 10 days we had before we went to Florida and put a lot of time in and was able to, to build off the experience that she got of, of seeing teams and really did come back and settle down for us. And then Florida really picked up tremendous confidence and, and let us, you know, in the conference uh, season for us and picked up 17 wins, which was very, very important. But I think, again, what was important to that was how she reacted to to that that start you know she could have lost confidence game but instead she got very determined so okay i'm gonna just figure it out and be able to do it so that that was a tremendous plus so again when you look back that solid one two punch i feel very comfortable with that combination looking ahead a little bit in conference outlook uh in the preseason poll we we're uh position third i think that's kind of where we expected mm -hmm. or close around there um when almost picked first augie second um uh, just your uh Thoughts going into the season, what do you think for the conference? You know, in the preseason polls. Don't mean anything, right? Y y y you know, because not everyone knows who everyone, you don't know what your freshmen are going to do. You, you, you don't know what your returners are going to do. Where's that consistency? Uh, again, you know, 
got to go in who's going to be injury free, who's not. So with that, but I really when it did come down, one Nona, Augie, Mankato, I, I thought that was probably really a, a very fair assessment built off last year, one thing, and would go from there. Mm -hmm. You know, again, it's a preseason poll. Uh, again, it needs to. It's going to come down to who's going to play consistent through the season. Who's going to play consistent through that conference season on the road, and at home. That you know. 30 game schedules, a lot of games in there, a lot, a lot of things lot. can happen. All right, uh, looking ahead this weekend, uh, as I mentioned, we'll be down in Arkansas at the UAM uh, Classic in Bentonville, Arkansas, uh, playing six games in three days starting Friday. Uh, a couple teams we're very familiar with, we're familiar with all of them almost. Um, a couple we played last year, um, all these teams that we were going to play played last week, as you mentioned. So uh, I guess thoughts looking ahead to this weekend. I think what we got to do is just go out and focus on our game. Mm -hmm. You know, have quality at bats, put the ball in 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 play. You know, um, make teams beat us. You know, with our, our our pitches. You know, be able to spin the ball. You know, make a move. You know, stay around the outside of that that strike zone or whatever. I mean, you put the ball in the middle of the plate. It, you know, it's going to go or whatever. So I, I think it's more important that you know, and defensively we got to play consistent. I think we all know dominant pitching. Um, solid defense and timely hitting is what's important in this game, and I think that's what we just have to be able to do. You know, and, and I feel good. You know, with those those three things, I think we worked hard with practice. But again, game day is different yep. than being in practice, so it's going to really respond to how does everyone handle the pressure of a game. You know, get, get game day and game pressure are two different. You know, are are you know two um, animals that that change a lot of players. That keep a lot of players just. You can be that practice player, but you know what? When the game's on the line, you got to step up. So we're really going to need to come up, I think, with some timely hitting. And, and so going into that, I just really want us to focus on our game and what we've been doing and our offensive style. I mean, we got to put the ball in play and got to get on base. The name of the game is score. Absolutely. You're exactly right. Thank you for the time, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you, Alex.